In this video, we're going to create a multi-page application using a class. And I created a new folder and a new file um, in my editor. We can remove everything which is in the file. It's because I created this file using PyCharm and it creates an auto-generated code. So I can remove that. And we're going to import Streamlit as ST. And we're going to import from Streamlit option menu. And if you don't have it installed, we should do pip install Streamlit option menu. Option menu. And then we're going to import the pages. But first we need to create them. So I'm going to use five pages. And, and in the previous video, we needed to create a folder called pages. When we're using classes, we don't have to create a folder. We can just create the pages in our in the same folder. So I'll say home.py. I will also create about.py. I will create sales.py. I will create profile dot py and I will create contacts dot py and now I'm going to import those pages so we're going to import home I'm going to import about profile sales and contact I'm going to give the page a title and st set page configuration and it's going to be and my page title sales information I'm going to create my class and we need to create a initialization function, initialize function, so in it self I'm going to create another function to add the application oh, I need to write yet self dot apps and I'm going to open an empty array I'm going to create a new function add application is going to be self title and function and here self dot apps append and title Will be title and function will be function. Now I'm going to create a new function. It's called run to run the application. specify the sidebar I'm going to define the menu so option menu the menu title will be sales information different options will be home profile sales about and contact I can specify the icons that I'm going to use 
So again, it should be in the same order. So here I'll have house fill. Here I'll have person circle. On the third page, I will have the receipts. The fourth page will be question circle. And the last one will be telephone. We can find those icons when we look in Google Bootstrap icons and we can use them in Streamlit. So we can change, uh, you can define the icon you want. And the menu icon will be menu app. Oh, got a comma here. And the default index will be one. And now we can define CSS. So we'll say styles equals to open the parentheses. And I'll say container Padding is going to be 10. And the background color will be gray. Next one will be the icons. So icon the color will be white the font size will be 20 pixels text to the left and we'll use a hover color of black now we're going to specify yet the hyperlinks and the selected links. So we'll say nav link, double dots, and color will be white. The font size will be again 20 pixels. Text align will be left again. Oh, I made a mistake here. I don't have to specify that here, I have to specify it here. Okay. Okay, so that's it for the navigation link. Now we're gonna do the navigation link selected. Nav link selected. And background color will be dark gray. Okay, so that's it for our run function. So we're gonna say if app is equal to home, 
then we'll say home app and we need to add that function yet in every page but first maybe I will finish this and then we're gonna add the functions in all those pages so the next one will be This one will be profile and here it will be profile and this one will be sales and I'll change this to sales and this one will be about and I'll change this one to about and this one will be contact and I will change it to contact. Okay, now in every page we need to add this app function. So we'll go to home and I'm gonna write import streamlit as st and I'm gonna define the function and I'm gonna give it a subheader sales information homepage. Okay, I can copy and paste this and add it to all the other pages. I just have to change this to about page and here I will change it to sales page. Here I will change it to profile page. And here I will change it to contact page. Okay, I will save all. So I will save all the files that I changed and we have an error here. I made a mistake somewhere. Okay. Okay, I forgot to add a comma here. Okay, and then we need to add yet run uh, on the same level of our function and our application is going to run. And I will, oh, first I need to save it. Okay. I'll close my connection again. Now I'll run it and it should work. And our application is working, home page, profile page sales page about page and contact page so this is how we can make a multi-page application using a class